Telltale is a pretty mature studio. We've been around over 10 years. Uh, we've had a lot of growth in the last five or six years. Uh, in the last five, I think we went from 50 people to nearly 350 and expanded our productions from, you know, running two or three or two smaller productions a year to really at any given time having three uh, pretty large licensed productions running at a time. Expanding to all of those teams has meant, you know, the tools, the technology, the pipelines, the process all has to expand with them at the same time. One of the unique things about Telltale that we've always done being episodic and digital is we want to always have a very live development experience where we don't make uh, a bunch of episodes over two years and then ship them to users over six months. We are always working on an episode while there are other uh, content in the market. So if we have the first episode released, we're going to release the next four episodes over the next six months. So we always have something live in development. We're always getting feedback from users. We're communicating with the community. Uh, what makes Telltale Games really special is our ability to produce at that clip and be able to respond to users and feedback and just kind of what the market is expecting. Our newest titles we've had, uh, we just had a Batman release that was really big. Uh, this was a license Telltale has been very excited to work with. Obviously it's one of the biggest ones in the world. The other big title we just came out with last year and have been coming out with more episodes this year is our Minecraft story mode. To be able to take something like that that doesn't have a story on its own and be able to create a whole story in that universe was really exciting. Coming up in this fall, we're going to release our third season of The Walking Dead. That title has obviously been really important to the growth at Telltale. It was very critically acclaimed. It's one of the licenses we've really worked on the most over the last five years. The way that the industry has been changing is something Telltale, I think, has always been preparing for pretty well. We've always believed in digital marketplaces or where content's going to get sold. It's the easiest way for consumers to instantly grab their content. Shorter play experiences is something we've been really in favor of. Episodic and ongoing experience. And I think a lot of the current industry trends of mobile games, constant updates, uh, analyzing how users are playing your games, responding to them, are things that Telltale has always had in our DNA. We want source control and collaboration to be really natural. Quick collaborative development is really critical to Telltale. So having software that's going to have a really strong server and just frankly download the gigabytes of data that's changing every day is extremely vital. Having software that is going to people are going to get up and use right away is really important to productivity. So for us, you know, the more you can kind of get out of the way and, and just, you know, do the base operations you need from source control really effectively, you're going to be more efficient. And then having an interface that's really intuitive, that you know, is very much what you would expect of you're going to be able to grab this, check it in, move on, and not uh, have to kind of fight that interface means that people are spending more time in your tools, more time developing the content, um, more time just creating fun things over the four weeks that we have to develop an episode. My advice for anyone trying to check out Plastic is just download it, install it, it's really easy to set up, and just play with it for a little bit. You know, give yourself some time to check it, to check it out. Uh, reach out to CODIS. They are extremely helpful, they're extremely nice. I've, you know, had an extremely great experience working with them. That's really important for a piece of software that's going to be used by everyone in your studio every day. You know, it needs to be really reliable and it needs to be a company that you can reach out to and get help when you need it. Give it a shot, use it on your data, and then straight up do a speed comparison with that versus Git and versus anything else, perforce, whatever. And you may find yourself very surprised and you know, sort of wondering why you've never heard or tried it before.